This content audit template was inspired by Ryan Stewart of Webris, which is a startup digital agency based in Miami. Um, and they've been really at the forefront of adopting Google Sheets automation as part of their business. Um, so one of the first things that they do when they work with a new client is try and get a feel for how are the site's existing pages uh, performing. Um, you know, their goal is to boost organic traffic for a client. So they want to understand which pages are really high performing and they should focus on upgrading and putting more weight behind those and which pages are complete dogs that aren't delivering any organic traffic or picking up any links that they should go ahead and delete. Um, so they needed a content audit process to manage all of the data wrangling because um, SEO audits are very data heavy. Um, and I helped build this template with them. So let's talk about it. Uh, basically the challenge, like I said, is data aggregation. So the services uh, that this pulls data together from are Google Analytics using Supermetrics, um, manual exports from tools like Ahrefs or Moz, uh, for example, that don't readily have, you can't readily pull the data from an API, so you have to manually process the export. So this template handles that. Um, and it uses the Google Sheets import XML function to pull in all of your sitemaps. So first you pull in all of your pages, then you put together um, engagement and bounce rate data and traffic from Google Analytics. You put together link data from something like Ahrefs or Moz, and then you can start to work on the logic. Um, so the output of this is really a big table that contains every page on your site, uh, pulls together all that data I just mentioned, and then outputs a suggested next step for the page. So if a page has no organic traffic and no inbound links, then it's not delivering any SEO value for the site and you should delete it unless it's serving some other purpose. Um, similarly, if, uh, if a page is performing highly, then you know, say it has a, a bunch of organic traffic and a lot of inbound links, you should focus on, on upgrading that page. Um, so I would say who can benefit from this template? It's really anyone who's, if you're starting to work with a new site, uh, you personally are, are taking on the project, but the site's been going for a while, say six months or a year of history, um, and it might have accumulated pages that aren't necessary or uh, it may have kind of varied results throughout the site. This will help you get a feel for where you're currently at. Um, so what does this allow Ryan and his team to really do? Um, I would say the biggest win is it allows them to focus on higher value activities, like deciding what are they actually going to do with these pages that are performing well um, versus spending all of the time uh, just wrangling uh, data. So it allows them to get deeper into their work. So there are a handful of key steps to um, get set up with this content audit template. Um, like any other template from Coding is for Losers, there's uh, a detailed walkthrough of these steps on the Getting Started tab. Um, so if you're ever confused, just go there. It has all the steps, checks to see whether they're set up properly, etc. cetera. Um, so those four steps really are, first you enter the sitemaps um, from your site that you want to pull it can take up to six sitemaps. And that will use the, the import XML function to pull in your site's pages here. Um, the second step is setting up Supermetrics, which is a Google Sheets add-on. I mean, a Goog yeah, exactly, Google Sheets add-on. <laughs> and uh, it will allow you to connect to the Google Analytics API and pull in uh, data into the Supermetrics data tab on each of your landing pages, their sessions, bounce rate, and uh, conversion rate. And so there's a, it's a pretty simple um, sidebar set up here. And again, all the, all the instructions for this are on the first tab. Uh, the third step is dumping in on Ahrefs export. Um, because Ahrefs doesn't really have a an open API that a lot of people use, as it seems like to me. Um, we decided to go with an export here. So you export your your links. Um, and basically what this does is it will pull all of this data together in the next steps tab. So you have all of your site's pages, 
uh, the organic sessions, conversion rate, bounce rate, count of links, and then a, a specific next step. Um, so for these next steps, there's there's a few kind of like options, and these are laid out here. Either you could leave the page as is, um, you could do a quality review on the page if it has if it does receive traffic, but it has a low conversion rate or high bounce rate. Uh, you could delete the page if it has no organic traffic and no backlinks, or you could redirect it if it has gets no organic traffic, but it does have backlinks. You want to preserve that juice. Um, so the fourth step of getting set up is really just setting these thresholds. So if you want to, the thresholds for leaving a page as is, you could say, I want 20 organic sessions. I want a bounce rate below 80, say, and a, a conversion rate of at least 1%. Um, other than that, you'll, you'll want to quality review this. And you can see here, I, I put in e-commerce conversion rate. I don't have an e-commerce any e-commerce functionality on my blog here. Um, so those are zero and it's telling me to quality review all these pages. Um, but yeah, you can similarly play around with these thresholds for yourself and it will give you uh, the logical next step for each page on your site. And that's it. Uh, if you want to dive in and make a copy of the template, you can do so from the, the link beneath this video. Uh, the getting started tab of the template contains all of the detailed instructions you need to get going, as well as tests. As, so as you go through each step, um, you'll be able to know like, okay, am I setting this up correctly or not? Um, but if you do have questions as you, as you dive into it, um, feel free to holler uh, at losershq on Twitter. Uh, take care.